Alan McLaren, Joachim Bjorklund, Paul Gascoigne and Ali McCoy. So there are places for Theo Snelders, Greg Shields, Derek McInnes and Eric Bo Anderson. But the best news from the flu-stricken Ivers camp is that Brian Loudrop has answered an emergency call to take his place and captain the side. Although, like several others in the starting lineup, he's anything but fully fit. So winter setting around Edinburgh, and that explains why so many matches all over the country are off today. And the match referee is the familiar figure of John Robotham from Kirkcaldy. And Rangers, having won the toss, have invited Hibs to play down the slope in the first half. They normally prefer to do that after the interval. And the early indications in the Rangers lineup are that Greg Shield is playing in the right wing back position. Alec Clellan in the left wing back spot with a central defensive trio of Moore, Petrich, and David Robertson. A change of role for Robertson in particular. A strangely subdued atmosphere around the stadium for the start of this match. And the playing surface causing no concern, of course, because of the under-soil heating, so they matched the condition. There's Ray Wilkins, who's still to the side, by Jim Duffy. McInnes finding Alberts on the left-hand side. It's, it's Ferguson, McInnes and Alberts in the midfield for Rangers with Loudrop and Bo Anderson up front. Oh, Jim Duffy giving no concession to the cold weather there. Jackson to McGinley. Our first dummy didn't quite come off. Chris Jackson running into space behind him. McInnes looks for Anderson. Very quick indeed, making for the byline. Testing go up the hunter. Goal kick it is. Anderson couldn't believe that. He held his head there when the decision was given. Well, he's a very swift mover Anderson here trying to get the byline he's already demonstrated his two-footedness in Rangers colours well the referee seems to be perfectly correct here's Willie Miller Harper coming short using his pace to get away from McInnes supported well by Miller good cross by an effort there McGinley had the chance but McGinley not picked up on the run from midfield. He's very disappointed because this really was an excellent chance at this level. And McGinley will certainly feel he should have beaten Snelders from there. Well, Harper's done some good work early in the match for Hibbs. Here's Wilkins. Setting it up for Jackson. Chris Jackson. Racing through the middle is Andy Dow. Matched though by Shields. Did well positionally, but the clear is not too decisive. Darren Jackson looks for the return. Great chance for Harper. Superb goal from Hibbs. Eight minutes of the first half gone. Well, some terrific work done. Initially by Andy Dowd, then by Darren Jackson. But a turn pass came from McGinley. The pullback set up Kevin Harper. At point blank range, he puts Hibbs ahead. Look at the determination here of Jackson coming inside. A great return pass. Jackson continued the movement. Robertson couldn't cut that out. And Harper was there. Remarkably on the goal number four of the season for Kevin Harper. face of that for Rangers early in the match I'm sure Walter Smith would have been anxious to see his new formation settling for a while and Hibs have denied them that opportunity delighted Jim Duffy still organising from the touchline Here's McGinley who played that excellent pass to Jackson for the goal. Not quite so effective that time. Well, real food for thought for Walter Smith in the director's box. Sebastian Rosenthal there in the stand also looking on beside John Gregg. 
Greg Shields will be disappointed with his part on that Hibs goal. He did very well to match Andy Dow's run, but then his clearance was really inadequate and allowed Hibs to build again with Darren Jackson. Last good look again by Dow. This is Harper. Looking for Jackson this time. And Mark Thomas Robertson. Darren Jackson thinks it was check it out again, Harper's pace so important again, the early cross this time well, there appears to be no handball there near post cross, headed away by Alberts this is McInnes Loud up, peels off the left hand side Love had to make an interception but Clellan's support for Rangers McClelland really becomes weaker in the sense he has to check back. He can't deliver that comfortably with his left hand side. Great play by Loudrop. And the save for Rangers. Cleland's intrusion of the box proved crucial. And the finish is supreme. Does it again for Rangers. Well, good play here. Well, having to turn back because of the weakness of the left hand side, Loudrup going inside, pulling this back for Cleland. His left foot shot not too convincing, but Anderson was there for the tap in. So 12 minutes gone now. Rangers equalise. Derek Bo Anderson's remarkable scoring record continues. That's his ninth for the season, and he's scarcely been in the side. Taken out by Ferguson, he'll be in trouble for that. Ferguson acknowledges the foul. Referee Robotham has a word with him here. That'll be all this time. Next one's a yellow card, is the message, I think. Well, certainly was a little bit reckless. Welsh attacking the high ball. This is Dow. Jackson. Was he fouled? Hibbs won a penalty. The referee who was perfectly positioned, doesn't want to know. Craig Moore was the Rangers defender involved. Good ball in from Dow. There was Jackson. Well, it would have been soft. They had tennis in the middle of the field. Both sides, I'm sure, want to get the ball down. Jackson did well with the layoff of Dow. There's no offside as Harper breaks on the left-hand side. Long time in the air, easy for the defender. Here's Dow again. McGinley. Dow. Well, he wanted that on his left foot. Not quite so powerful or accurate with the right. He's played well, Andy Dow. It's a good shooting chance, this. Lack of conviction, though, on the part of Andy Dow. Walter Smith. Be happier now to find his team back in level terms and the settling in process over. Lord has retained possession brilliantly. That's his great play. He's down the corner. Well, that was out of nothing. Absolutely nothing. Maybe a little bit below par, but he still has that touch and acceleration. Just remarkably, after 32 minutes, is Rangers' first corner kick. Anderson on his own inside the six-yard box. Now that was a good chance. Well, there will be an inquest there about how he found this space. Came off his marker there, not met by Willie Miller or Brian Welsh. David Robertson. Thought about going through that gap, I think. Alec Clellan did well, a chance here! Excellent goalkeeping. Well, delicate ball played in by Derek McKinnis caused the problem for the Hibs defence. This is good play here. The arrival of Alec Clellan made such a difference, but Leighton was quick. 
Harper and Jackson working very hard indeed up front for Hibbs. Pressurising Rangers defenders in possession. Just carrying out there. Throw to Hibbs. Loud of a stone space again. Good running here by Shields. That's for McInnes. Great goalkeeping by Leighton. Splendid football from Rangers, though. Greg Shields playing a very big part in that move. The pass came from Lodrup. Shields was very quick. He picked out McInnes. One touch to control. The second for the shot. Now that's with a corner. Still problems for Hibbs. Here's Clellan. Back to Lodrup. Hovering at the edge of the area. Blocked by Hunter. Now McInnes having tested late in a moment ago. Trying again without the same success. So the late stages now of a very competitive first half for Walter Smith to contemplate for his half-time team top. Dow closed down by Alberts. Shields under pressure from Jackson did well. So did Alberts. That's Ferguson. What a good pass that is. Loads up looking for Bo Anderson. This excellent play from Rangers. The pass for me and Ferguson was immaculate for Lodrup. You see him looking up there for Anderson, delivering it early. What a point-blank save. Great goalkeeping. Walter Smith has appeared on the track. Walter has actually Knox checks the watch to tell him that we're into stoppage time now at the end of the first half. Contemplating what they might be doing at half-time. Well, it really has been a much better first half than I think we were entitled to expect in view of the difficulties for players coping at this time of the year. Kevin Harper gave Hibbs a perfect start in eight minutes when he turned on Darren Jackson's cutback to put Hibbs ahead. But that lasted only four minutes until Eric Bo Anderson took full advantage again after great play by Loudrup and Alec Cleland to set up uh, Rangers. But it was Jim Layton who kept Hibbs on level terms at half-time. It's Hibernian 1, Rangers 1. The Rangers start off down the Easter Road slope for the second half, entering, of course, the phase of the match where any illness will certainly take its toll, and it may well be that Rangers have to use their full complement of 14 players. Here they have Charlie Miller, Ali McCoy, and Peter Van Bossen available on the bench to come on. No doubt Walter Smith will be watching very anxiously to see how his players are coping as the second half wears on, especially if it's played at the same pace as the first half when Hibbs certainly went flat out to carry the fight to Rangers. Well, they did live dangerously towards half-time when Jim Layton was undoubtedly the hero of the hour. So Jim Duffy, I'm certain, will be looking for more of the same, I think, in the second half from his team. Dow and Darren Jackson together. That's good passing again. Petrich read that well for Rangers. Cutting off Kevin Harper on the run. Harper's a turn pass. Here's Love. Chris Jackson arriving. Oh, he's very close indeed. Well, two Jacksons in the box for Hibbs. Darren dummy that. I think he'd get a call from Chris Jackson coming in behind him. Let that go through. The young man was very determined and out of luck, leaning back when he let fly with his shot. That's turned away by Welsh for the corner. Every Hibs player except Kevin Harper racing back to defend. Well, that's generally very accurate with these corner kicks. Brian Welsh did well. That's McInnes. Another fine save from Leighton. Excellent dipping volley that from Derek McInnes. And Jim Leighton read it well again. Well, Welsh did 
very well here with a clearing head in the first place but you can see McInnes setting himself for that shot it was a good one and clearance there completed by Andy Dow the outswinger this time Petric and Welsh clash Petric is penalised barging into his former Dundee United teammate Brian Welsh a real battle of the titans this one two big men very determined Welsh got to the ball first and Petric hit him late now Darren Jackson's head flick on not likely to trouble the Rangers defence with so much strength there Petric giving depth Pass, I mean, Ferguson, here's Anderson. Setting it up for Lodra. Well, he's 38 years old. And still plays with enthusiasm of a teenager. And he's become even more effective. Terrific play by the keeper. Jackson's header, here's Harper. Winning the throw off McInnes, the Rangers bench not happy about that. Another change being made by Hibbs. The man coming on is Darren Dodds. Check on who is going off. It looks like Willie Miller who was injured early on in the game. Bit of knee damage. He's off for treatment there with Stuart Colley, the physio. So Gordon Hunter's going to right back. Darren Dodds at centre back beside Brian Welsh. This is Jackson. Good effort by Jackson. Well, beaten out by Stelders. Well, Darren Jackson certainly got a hold of that one. Careless one by Ferguson. Ferguson retrieves his own error. Good play. Now McInnes. Love against Moore. McInnes now to Ian Ferguson. Too long, the cross. Arthur launches the ball upfield, it's out for the throw. Well, Jackson's sharpness in the turn was effective initially, then he set himself with the left foot shot. Oh, what a terrific pile driver it was for Stelders to beat away. Well, did well as he fell there, he hooked the ball away. Lodrup now can attack the uh, Hibs defence. That's great tackling again by Hibbs, this time by Andy Dow. Here's Harper. McGinley's gone forward on the right-hand side. Darren Jackson coming in off the left to join the attack. Wilkins. Chris Jackson wants it short. Darren Jackson looking for Harper. Hunter did just enough there to prevent Anderson running free. That's good play by Darren Jackson. Well, McGinley's pass, I think, expected Darren Jackson to spin off in the run in that area. Dow under pressure. Miller towards Loudrop. Loudrop's in the clear. Brought down by Leighton. Penalty kick it is. Leighton goes to Lodrup, complaining that it was a dive. But he did appear to make contact. And why, I really don't know, because he was going away from the goal area. There's Lodrup, dragging the ball away from Welsh. Leighton committing himself there. Seemed to catch him with his left arm. It's all penalty kick, it is. 
And still, Jim Leighton is arguing the point. And there's a booking also for the Hibs keeper, inevitably. Well, I can argue all he likes, it will change nothing. It's a terrific chance here for Rangers to take the lead. Well, the frustration of the Hibs goalkeeper is apparent. He now has to face Alberts for the penalty. Alberts against Leighton. Well, almost straight through the goalkeeper. Rangers are in front. 72 minutes of the match gone, and Jim Leighton will be very upset when he sees that again. Alberts drilling the ball straight through the middle. It's frequently so effective. And Rangers go in front. Alberts scores for the fourth consecutive match for Rangers. Welsh to Harper. Load of the possession again. Alberts. Here's Derek McInnes and Cleland. against McInnes, good play by McInnes that's for Anderson, this could settle it what a chance for Rangers Eric Bo Anderson, normally so deadly hits the post good play this by Derek McInnes there's a terrific reverse pass he plays here as he breaks across he turns that back into the path of Anderson who wasn't picked up or marked closely enough That's McGinley. Looking for Darren Jackson. That'll be a corner kick. It came on. David Robertson's a big finish from Hibs here. We're well into stop each time. This will be the last attack, I suspect. Played in by Darren Jackson. Well won by Petrich. Played in by Darren. Moore heading clear. Darren Jackson. Trying to control that. Slipped to the ball arrived, came off his shoulder awkwardly, and that may well be the end of the Hibs' efforts to save this match. Alec Fellin being told to get a move on by the referee. It's all over. Rangers have won the three points with an excellent second half performance in which they dominated all the way through. Jim Leighton performed heroics in goal for Hibs and then was penalised and Brian Lowdrop went past him. Leighton appeared to catch him on the way to concede a penalty kick which George Alberts drilled straight down the middle past the Hibs goalkeeper. It really has been an impressive second half from Rangers. Hibs looked good in the first half. They couldn't maintain it though. Another defeat for Jim Duffy. And for Darren Jackson, another afternoon of disappointment. It's a very one. Rangers 2.